Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, it's Tisha. Today's video is going to be Monday, December 20th, so Vlogmas Day 20. And I'm sharing with you a little mishmash of candles. So let's talk about it real briefly, you know how good I am at that. So I had placed an order online, Candle Day, the Thursday before, for 18 candles. I had gift cards to cover pretty much all but like $14 of that sale. Six of them shipped. Actually, they all said they shipped. I did get six of them. Two crates of three candles came to my house. Um, and so I'm going to share that crate with you. The other 12 candles have been in waiting for the, they've shipped the same day from different places, I guess. I don't know why they do that. Um, and those have been sitting waiting for the distributor to pick up. So I called today because I got these and then I got my body care order. And I'm like, that was like a week later. And she's like, yeah, um, well, we're contacting them. So they put me on hold. I was on hold for like an hour because again, they don't want to just give me new, you know, 12 new candles or whatever. So they contacted them. They said they're still waiting. There's this whole thing. She had to let her supervisor take my call. So they're just sending me out 12 more candles. But in the time that I sat down to film, they've already canceled four of those candles. So basically most of the candles I picked are gone now. So I'm going to share with you the six I got. We don't know what's going to happen with those 12. I also exchanged four candles and I did a buy two get two when I went to exchange. So I'm going to share that with you in place of whatever comes for candle day. But I will end up with 18 total candles at that 1025 price point because I don't want to get ripped off because then that doesn't make them a sale. But it is really not that big a deal. There's been a lot going on. So I did understand, but like they can't find it. So I'm like, okay, at that point, let's just reship or something. I did pay the shipping for three weeks later. So anyways, this is a bonus video. Today, we're also going to do like a sass, um, like a tips and tricks or wishlist video or something to that nature. So you'll see me twice today. Lucky, lucky ducks. Okay. First candle I picked up online was Ocean. I wanted one of each of the signature scents. This is Blue Cypress, Vetiver, and Coastal Air. I like it. I don't see myself burning it, though. It smells really good. Like, I just want to smell it. Mmm. It smells like, like a delicious men's soap. Like, I really, really like it. And I bought that for both of my boys, too. So, the next candle up is Black Tie. Now, I didn't know if I would run into this one in store, so I went ahead and grabbed it online. Um, and that way, I just kind of, like, grabbed some that I definitely knew I wanted. And that way, I didn't have to worry about finding them that I could get my hands on that night. So this is green sage sandalwood tonka bean. Mm, it smells good. It's like not so much soapy. Like this is a very clean scent for a man. This is more of like a cologne scent. I really like it. And then the other candles that did come from my candle order were two of the red velvet cupcake. Um, might gift one of these. I think it's really pretty packaging. I love that buffalo check red. And the notes are luscious red, lush red velvet cake, cream cheese frosting, sweet vanilla. And you really do get the cream cheese frosting and the cake note, um, so I like that. And then I did end up getting two of the hot buttered rum did come in the mail. So this is notes of dark buttered rum, warm caramel, mulling, spice, vanilla bourbon. It smells really good. Um, I've burnt salted caramel eggnog, so I'm hoping this one kind of smells like it or I can burn them together, but they smell really good on cold. They kind of give me like hope that they're going to be a decent throw. So... Um, the ones that were canceled were a lot of Christmas candles, like, uh, black, blackberry creme frosting, winter berry wreath, crushed candy cane. Those are like faves that I just knew I wanted backups of. So I don't know that I'll get them. That's not a huge deal, but there were four in my like, um, candle day that I got, um, in person that I didn't really fall in love with. Like blueberries or berry spritzer. I'm not a big fan of. Um, I don't know. I, I exchanged four and I, I'm literally, there's just been so much. I can't remember what I got. So, um, I'm going to give you the four that I got in store for exchanges. And then the four that, um, I bought by two get two. So the first one I got in store for the exchanges was cranberry peach. I wanted to smell this one. This collection never made it to stores by the time candle day Saturday was over. They hadn't put out this collection yet and it smells really good. It's sweet peaches, tart cranberry and sugared musk. And so I wanted to smell it. You know, I love that fruity scented candle. I could see myself holding on to that for spring or summer. Um, I went ahead and got another one of these because I want to burn one and then I want to keep one. So summer boardwalk again, 
there were still a lot of candles my stores didn't have. Even I waited like two weeks to go in exchange just so they'd have some of the ones. Caramel glazed popcorn, warm taffy apple sweet or salty sweet cream. We know this one. We love this one. Um, yeah, I just, I really think this packaging is super cute. So I got another one of those as an exchange. And then, um, this pink apple punch is just cute. I, it kind of reminds me of Bubbly Rosé, the jar. So it's notes of crisp apple, melon, and sugar crystal. And I really love this scent for spring and summer. So I thought, I love the color run jars. I'll go ahead and grab it again. They didn't have a lot of the new, new stuff. So I just grabbed what I could get. And then my last exchange was vanilla birch. Um, and I like the plaid. They're cute. This is white birch Madagascar vanilla warm sandwich. I remember this is what me and Aiden went to do when the power was out on Sunday. We went to the store and exchanged my candles. This is another one though that the lid doesn't really stay on. So just a lot of that kind of stuff, but not a huge deal. It, it closes better than those blush, blush points out of candles did, but that's one I could see myself burning or gifting. Um, like I said, the ones I was going to gift aren't going to get here. So now I'm kind of like replanning. So this, um, these candles, I went ahead and bought that day and the buy to get to. So I think this is the way it worked out. I had a big bag and I condensed it down. So they did have out a couple, but not the whole collection. The pomegranate lemonade wasn't out yet of this ombre color run jar. So I went ahead and grabbed a lavender vanilla. This has notes of lavender blossom, creamy vanilla, white woods, and sugared musk. And this smells really good. I have it in a couple of collections. It's like a nice, clean, fresh laundry beautiful scent. I really like it, but this jar is super cute. I don't see myself burning that. That'll probably stay in the collection. Um, and then this one, I was excited to finally find, and they literally had this one. I'm not even being dramatic. I would have probably just got a couple of these. Vanilla Swirl Brownie. Now you guys know I had an obsession with cookies and cream milkshake. I loved that candle and I only grabbed two at candle day. And so I burnt one and then I've saved one waiting for it to come back. But I smelled this in store and I knew exactly it was a dupe. Not that I questioned anybody, but I was like, oh, if they had more than this was sitting on a candle holder. And that's why I just grabbed it. Notes of chocolate cookie crumble, vanilla bean ice cream, chocolate drizzle with natural essential oils. And it smells just like cookies and cream milkshake. It's so good. This one on cold, I can also tell is probably going to have a pretty decent throw. So I was really excited to pick up that one up. And that's why I went ahead and just grabbed a few more because I wasn't sure if they were going to cancel my order and refund me. So that's where there's just candle, like candle craziness right now. This one I grabbed for the boys. Like I said, every once in a while, I like to, I do a lot of gourmand candles, a lot of fruity candles. They like the men's scented candles and I don't see myself burning ocean. So I went ahead and grabbed a blue spruce and spice. This collection still in my stores does not have Mary, Pan Mary Maple pancakes out, but Raspberry Mimosa, Cozy, Ca Cozy Cashmere and Blue Spruce and Spice are out. This has notes of blue spruce, nutmeg, warm amber, and it smells really good. I really like it. I get the spruce and I get the like tree scent as well as that like warmth of the amber and the nutmeg. So very, very nice. And then again, just because there wasn't anything I didn't already have, I went ahead and got one of these because I had yet to grab one and it was iced blueberry biscotti. This is a good candle for the spring. I liked the version that came out. Um, I know San the Santa Maria did recently, this last week, like a video called um, the most hyped candles of 2021. And this one made her listen. She's right. People were selling this, uh, this candle on Macari for like 50 to 60 to $75. And I'm like, just wait, it's coming for everyone. That There was a time with Bath and Body Works where there would be candle day candles where they only had six per store and they weren't online. So you had to go crazy like that. And I think that's where places like Macari were born. Some of all six of those candles kept one for themselves and sold the other five for a hundred bucks a piece. And they, it was their like budget for, you know, Christmas. All they had to do was just be stingy and grab all six of the um, cereal bar donut or blueberry sugar donut cereal bar, but they don't do that anymore. So yeah, sometimes stores get the candles really, really late, but there's accessibility now that like, I don't see myself ever no matter what the scent, hyping myself to a point where I spend $100 on a candle. I'm already upset about the twenty some fifty it says on the bottom of this, but I'm not paying a penny more than that, and I wouldn't even pay full price. There's just not a single candle scent in the world I need to spend that much money on. So off my little, uh, I'm off my little pedestal now of ranting, but I thought this candle scent was good at the time. It just wasn't worth the hype. So she was 100% right on her video. 
but it is nice. It's just not, it's not all that. Um, sugared blueberry, sweet vanilla icing, and almond biscotti with brown sugar. I thought these jars were super cute. The lids are really nice. I mean, I might not even burn this. I might just keep it for collection purposes because I did burn through my ice blueberry biscotti from the spring. But it does have a nice blueberry um, and brown sugar mix. I like it. I thought it was light performing in the spring. So as candles have been even more light lately, I'm kind of concerned. But we'll just see how it goes. So this is my finally candle day haul, but it was really a bunch of different things. But I'm ready to put these candles away and wrap some candles for gifts. And I'll let you guys know, of course, in a future video, whatever happens with the other 12 missing candles that are out there somewhere. Um, but other than that, I will talk to you in a video very soon. Let's start talking about sass. And I uh, can't wait to hear what you all got for Christmas, but that is coming up. So um, I love you guys, and I hope to see you in a video very soon. Take care.